what's up guys it's Andrew Place back again and in this video I'll be showing you well this video uh, marks the beginning of completely new series which I'm gonna launch on my YouTube channel it's about Moto G4 Plus well uh, the device has been uh, out for quite a long time but uh, really sorry for posting a video so late well so I'm gonna start from basically how to unlock the bootloader and flash TWRP recovery on it and if you want you can root it as well well uh, you know like if I want to start a new series of a phone I have to show how to root it and unlock the bootloader so let's just begin well uh, this this device is really different from Moto G uh, the, that Lenovo A2010 the, in that device the bootloader is already unlocked but in here you have to unlock it so just you, you just need to follow my steps and everything will be just fine like what happens only you're gonna lose your warranty that's all and I, I suggest that you back up all your data your pictures and stuff Bef uh, if you lose it don't blame me for anything uh, okay so now let's just begin so I'll divide the video in few parts so the first part is unlocking the bootloader now how how do you do it now let's just see see this is my Moto G4 Plus and uh, let's check it out now the first time uh, see this is my device I'm just project projecting the screen I'll uh, show you what to do first to unlock the bootloader go to about phone and uh, tap the build number seven times after that you'll uh, you'll get a option developer option see uh, here you here you have the developer option click the developer option and uh, here, here you see OEM unlocking just click it and it will be ticked uh, I have not uh, set any password in my phone but uh, like if I would have uh, then I would click on the tick it will ask for the password confirmation just, uh, just enter the your phone password or pattern whichever, whichever you have no the phone work is over minimize your I and mean, like just leave your phone aside now uh, the link will be in the description for this now all you need to do is go below and sign in with your google account when you sign in with your google account then you will get this screen okay first sign in uh, like after you sign in you'll get this screen and then you need what you need is install latest Motorola USB drivers click and download the drivers uh, let's see let's just download the drivers like choose whatever operating system if you're on Mac choose Mac if you're on Windows choose Windows see I'm not gonna show how to uh, like do this on Mac it's only for Windows so download it for Windows once you have downloaded uh, those drivers just uh, like just go and install them it will be like this I have already installed so like just clip, uh, click on repair so while it's installing you need uh, to download another thing which is fast boot and uh, ADB and fast boot drivers the link will be in the description for that uh, the folder you download will look something like this you'll have these files okay so then when you install uh, this this driver installation is complete then uh, I'll tell you what to do first let it complete now once you have installed those drivers then all you need to do is put your phone in bootloader mode okay so let me just show you how to do that okay now to put the phone in bootloader mode what you need to do is you need to like first turn off the phone that's obvious power it off okay so now it's switched off now what you're gonna do is that press the power button like the lock button here you can see press the lock button and the down volume button together so this screen is gonna flash up you can see all the details of the device 
like uh, whatever whatever the details are you can see all right here so now what you need to do is you need to connect your device to the PC uh, after you have installed the, the Moto drivers the, the link which I have shown you so now connect your device to the PC now while your device is connected and after you have installed the the Motorola device drivers just uh, go to this minimal uh, minimum minimal ADB and fastboot folder and uh, like you have to keep this this thing open this is really necessary keep this thing open go to this minimal ADB and uh, you need to download the link will be in description for all the files all the files you need now here what you need to do is press the shift button and the right click button together and you see this open command window here now this command window will be open now you need to enter this code fastboot oem get under dash unlock under dash data now press enter here you see this code right here uh, I'm gonna pixelate the code because it's really really important here you see the code whatever the code is now you need uh, what you need to do is copy the entire code without this bootloader without this bootloader tag so like the thing you need to do is uh, like let me just show you here here it's an example like you can see uh, this is this is as same as the code we have right here and uh, what you need to do is you have to bring this code in this form right here so just keep this thing open here and what you need to do is just start writing the code in the notepad uh, I'll, I'll just uh, I'll just start the video when I'll be finished okay so hey guys I'm back and well this took quite a lot of time here's my entire code you, like you see how how I like wrote the entire code in this form well it, it sure take like about five minutes now what you need to do is copy this code just copy it and go to the website here and paste the code here now click on can my device be unlocked just click on I agree can my device be unlocked just check and now when I request the key okay so here you can see you should have emailed uh, with unlock key inside so now what Motorola says that the email address you provided in that login ID the key has been sent on that email address now I'll show you how to uh, further unlock the device now check your email you might have received a unlock code once you have received the unlock code uh, like keep your phone in bootloader mode connected to the PC type this code fastboot oem unlock and paste your unlock code here this will surely unlock your device and if it doesn't please comment in the description down below I'll uh, see to it see it's a invalid boot state because my bootloader is already unlocked so I cannot unlock any I cannot unlock it anymore further so this is one step guys in this way you can unlock the bootloader next comes is flashing recovery now let's head to the next step now once your bootloader is unlocked keep that bootloader in that state uh, keep the uh, keep your device in that state and uh, then there will be a link for a file uh, called recovery.img please download that file and paste it in your ADB fast uh, minimal ADB and fastboot folder it will ask uh, for a replacement replace the file with the current one now all you need to do is shift plus right click open command prompt and type this code
now here is here you see image signed or corrupt la means it's not from like moto that's obvious because uh, moto always signs its images so now you see finished total time 0. Point blah 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 seconds that means you have successfully unlocked your bootloader you have successfully flashed a custom recovery now the question comes of root uh, there will be a file in the description super su zip put that file in your SD card and flash the zip now I'll show you how to uh, flash custom files uh, so just wait ok guys once you have flashed the recovery into the phone uh, what you need to do is just press keep pressing the down volume button until you see this option here you see this option recovery mode when you see this option press the lock button to select it uh, yeah, you will get this unlocked bootloader warning for sure uh, I'll make a video about it how to like how to remove this warning because it's really really irritating now but when you see this team win recovery project you mean that means that you have been successful in flashing custom recovery congrats guys uh, like if this worked for you please like my video and please subscribe my channel and stay tuned for more videos and uh, like there's a new feature in YouTube please Press the bell icon next to the subscribe button for state uh, so that you can be alerted by my latest uh, for my latest videos. Now, what are you gonna do is just swipe, go to backup, and uh, see this all is not important. From boot to DSP, please backup in your uh, SD card. You can select in storage from here. Click internal storage. You, you see micro SD. Select micro SD, and uh, backup, backup whatever you need like the system uh, backup system only like if you don't believe a custom rom that uh, if you are like if you are about to install a custom rom and if you don't believe that it might work backup system in that case but uh, it's not needed backup your data like if you need any so this is the backup option now if you if you want to root your device right now uh, download the root zip file in link in description paste that zip file in your SD card then go to install and uh, please like please select that zip file I don't have that zip file right now just select that zip file like just take for this zip select that zip file and swipe that zip file will be flashed successfully okay so this this was some other file so it might not happen so uh, there you go guys the bootloader is unlocked I have told you how to lo uh, root the recovery is flashed now you're ready to go so thanks for watching again and uh, please subscribe to my channel. I really need your support guys. So see you in the next video. Peace out.